before we begin this video, I want to thank my dear friend Francisco Figueroa. He lives in New York and he was able to send me this fantastic AMC Ghostbusters Ecto-1 popcorn bucket. And this is the second bucket that I review on my channel. And he also sent me this staple of uh, marshmallow bags. And I'm really excited because here in Canada, they don't carry those in Walmart. So I'm pretty sure we're going to use those for our next skit whenever we do it. I hope it's soon. Anyways, here they are. They are pretty accurate to the ones what, that we saw in the movies. And I couldn't resist, so I brought my small Stay Puft Marshmallow Man to do this portion of the video. I can't wait to recreate the Mini Puff scene that we saw in Walmart with Mr. Gruberson. Okay, so here it is. Ghostbusters Afterlife Ecto-1. And I gotta say, the uh, design of the box is fantastic. I really love what the marketing team is doing for the Ghostbusters Afterlife merchandise. Here on the box it says replica of the Ecto-1, collectible popcorn container and Afterlife only in theaters, but not anymore. Here on the side you can see the AMC logo and some design patterns to replicate the back of the ghost trap. And in the back you can see the pictures of the Ecto-1 and AMC is telling us that includes flashlights, details on the actual Ecto-1 and what else? Holds up to 85 ounces of popcorn and it's a detailed replica from the Ghostbusters. And on the other side, more design features like the knobs and the MMC logo. All right, so it's time to open the box and do the actual unboxing. Okay, so I, I gotta be careful here because uh, it was stuck on one side, but it, it came perfectly, this, this box came from the US to Canada and I gotta say the Ecto-1 came in perfect pristine condition. So here it is outside the box and I really like the the quality of it but I'm not very happy with the paint application because as you can see it's basically somebody came with a brush and smeared all the brown color on the whole Ecto with no rhyme or reason. So I think I'm gonna try to clean it up. Maybe I will do a video about uh, repainting and customizing, but all the pieces are there. It has the roof rack and all the lights. Uh, the, the, the tires, they don't have the white frame on it, but uh, also the doors do not open. It's basically one solid shelf. And for some reason they put the logos with the, the knobs on the sides. Oh, and the antenna doesn't have the little red arrow on it. Also, the hose should be blue, but like I said, that's easy fix, just painting. Uh, this little light has this circle on the back. I think that's, that's a mistake. In here, I'm gonna open the popcorn bucket. And as you can see inside, there's, there are no seats because this is supposed to be for popcorn. And uh, I was thinking of cutting on the side door to make it open, but after having it in, in hand, I can see that there's uh, some structure there, so that's gonna make it difficult. But maybe I can figure it out. I uh, just think uh, it could work if I cut inside and make the door open. For size comparison, I'm gonna show you how the Fright Feature Ecto-1 looks. This is the one that I customized with my paintings. And as you can see, it's uh, it's a little bit smaller and the popcorn container is definitely longer. And here on the right, we have the Kenner Ecto-1 and this tiny Ecto. And let us know in the comments, which one do you prefer? Here it is the Kenner Ecto-1 side by side and it's a little bit more cartoony. I think this is the right size for the Fright Features Ghostbusters from the Afterlife movie. I am pretty sure that they can fit inside and right now I'm testing it and absolutely. Uh, what I could do is I'm planning on doing uh, some custom seats. That way I can fit them inside and they will all fit, all the four, four Ghostbusters. And there is even uh, space for the proton packs in the back. So, Maybe I will customize it and I will make a video about it. 
Now to make the legs work, you remove the little piece of plastic and then you press the bottom on the roof rack and there it is. Now let me turn off the lights to show you how bright these are. These are pretty bright. Uh, they are a little fast in place, but uh, they make the car look amazing. So here's my custom Egon Spengler. I made a video about him. Uh, you can check all my videos. And uh, as you can see, the Ecto popcorn bucket is a little small for these figures. But for the Fright Feature kits, it's perfect. Uh, this would be amazing if the doors could open and I could make them fit inside with the chairs and everything. So Hasbro, why don't you make a bigger one for the Plasma series? Come on, we're waiting. Anyways, I bought this on the AMC website. Do not go to eBay, don't buy it from scalpers, don't pay three, four times the amount of the $34 that this is, because at $34 you're paying what is worth. Anyway, thank you so much for watching guys. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about this video about the Ecto-1 popcorn bucket. Let me know if you have it. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you in the next one.